to tell you how to take your box that the sides have been glued together and put the top and bottom pieces on. So the first thing you have to do is remove the rubber bands from yesterday or last week. And you want to look at your box to see if it's square or if it has any gaps. So if I take a ruler over here, I see a few little air gaps. And what you want to do first is you want to take this over to the belt sander and sand it flush. So I've done that with this box, and there's no air gaps, it's nice and flush. I've also sanded the top so it looks nice and flush. After you get your box sanded, you're going to go over and get two pieces of quarter inch plywood, and these are going to be the top and bottom. And we're going to make a sandwich kind of like this, except we're going to have to trim the pieces. You don't need to measure anything. You lay your uh, box on top of the base, line up one side, take a pencil or a pen, and you're going to trace it out. Okay? This one here, I only need to trace here. On this box, I'm going to line up one side and trace my two lines. And then I want you to look at the piece of wood. This piece of wood has a smooth side and a rough side. Usually we want the smooth side out. So if this was on the top of my box, I'm going to write up top. And then this one here has the rough side and the smooth, so I'm going to write this bottom out. So that way when I put the box together, I want the ink on the outside. If for some reason I put this like this, and we could see this pencil mark in here, this would be impossible to sand off. So that would be no good. After we have our pieces marked, you're going to take them over to a scroll saw and you're going to cut out along the line. When you use a scroll saw, it's better to cut wide than too small because we can sand it later. So now I have my pieces that have been cut. This one says down base. This one says up top. I double check that they fit. Pretty good. A little bit of overlap is okay. And we want to glue it together. When you put the glue on, put the glue on the, the box. Don't go too much because it'll sneak inside. Line them up here. The other thing you can do is you can make a note like, help, I am stuck in this box. And we're going to put it inside because this is going to be locked in until we cut it out. This is going to be up top. Now all the stuff slides around until we put a rubber band around it. Remember to take the rubber band and double it. And you want four, one, two, three, four this way. And you're going to put do four this way. After you get the four on, line up the box so everything overlaps a little bit. You don't want any gaps later. Put it in your box, let it dry. Tomorrow we'll talk about how we're going to sand it from there. Thanks.